With an in-cylinder pressure transducer, you can measure the actual cranking and running compression pressures. Now, that's not to say that your gauge is inaccurate, but more along these lines, let's say that we have an exhaust path restriction in a cylinder, and that when a piston comes up on an exhaust stroke, instead of having about zero PSI on that stroke, it's got five, 10, 15, maybe even 20 PSI. So if I'm using a, a compression gauge and I'm cranking or running that particular cylinder, I will never see that. The Schrader valve in the hose or in the gauge will trap the highest compression. So if the highest compression was 150 PSI on that compression stroke, we will not see anything less than that. But a in-cylinder transducer will show us the actual pressures in all four strokes. Also, we can determine valve opening and closing events. Now, of course, in the four-stroke cycle, we have four valve events. The in-cylinder pressure transducer allows us to very accurately measure two of those, when the exhaust valve opens and when the intake valve closes. And I'll explain as we progress why the other two are far more difficult to measure. Also, the pressure transducer helps us determine how well an engine breathes, how well we get air into and out of that cylinder. Let, let me give you an, another example. Let's say that I have an intake valve, for whatever reason, does not open fully. So there's some type of intake path restriction. And depending on the condition in which we're testing the engine, a gauge may not show that. But if I'm using an in-cylinder pressure transducer and I have an intake path restriction, I will see deeper than normal vacuum on the intake stroke. So when I say the intake stroke, I'm not talking about the vacuum in the intake manifold, I'm talking about the vacuum in the cylinder. So instead of seeing a, a normal 18, 19, 20, 21 inches, I might see as deep as 25 or 26 inches. And that would help identify what's wrong with that particular cylinder. So that, that's a real benefit. And I finally, in this discussion anyway, we can determine with a high level of accuracy when the spark plug fires. So if I want to determine if the plug is firing you know, at TDC or slightly before TDC, going in cylinder is a pretty quick way to do that. Now, if it's not firing at the right time, my transducer might help me identify, is there a crank reluctor issue? So whether the reluctor is mounted on a harmonic balancer, the crankshaft, or a flywheel, we can determine if that reluctor is shifted one way or the other. So these are just some of the benefits. And as you watch the program, you'll see there's a lot more to come.